here we are back again in you know where we have a brand new king carrying Premisal the second and I just realized we have zero prestige might be because we just lost our king but we have full legitimacy which is nice we have realized our king sucks for what we want to do, which is non-military things. Uh, we also no longer the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, Cancelled. We've lost those. And we lost that. And we will be getting an idea, I believe. Let's see, I gotta check something. Yeah, we're now over our military army force limit. Because it was boosted by our imperial selves. That's fine. We'll have to bear the brunt of overpaying, I'm afraid. Or disarm slightly might make sense since we're not meant to go to war but it might not make sense considering stuff let's see I don't want to sacrifice that can I remove that like so yeah nice uh, patch stuff you can choose whether you want the notification to show up or not for various decisions, very nice. Believe we'll go for this. Organized recruitment. Spend some administrative power on that. Holding off on the College and Mint. A lot more money. Actually, thinking about it. If we're overpaying already, maybe. And we're not supposed to go to war. That won't help our money. That would. That would. That really won't. This idea was very good when our uh, inflation was through the roof and it was basically impossible to reduce it without that idea. But that's been patched away a long time ago. And I can't change this, I don't think. Well, we're stuck with it, so let's just live with it. I suppose we'll actually save our admin for uh, tech and get the mint. There are mints everywhere. And oh, this is also new. You can choose to leave the diplomat when you've maxed out your relations with the Ottomans. I don't think we want to leave him there though. We might want to leave him somewhere else. Let's recall Mr. Whoever that was. Joseph, Mr. Joseph or Pirkene. Sounds finished. My King Spain broke their alliance with us, damn it. Oman declared war on Iraq. I don't care. We lost our alliance with Spain. Probably because we're no longer Emperor. Trade dispute with Naples. Dele declared war on something I don't want to worry about pronouncing. How's our friends looking? Brandenburg, Austria, Hess, Cologne, and Palatinate are our friends. How are you doing? They refuse aggressive expansion. I believe that's what makes them join pretty little coalitions like this. Uh, aggressive 77, that's nice. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hope that falls. That's our goal, making it fall. And uh, getting new tech, getting collagen mint tech. Let's see, money and people are what we need to govern effectively. We need to create a class of administrators who are skilled not only in scholastic philosophy, but also have a solid grounding in mathematics, the classics and the Bible. Secondly, we need to ensure the stability of coinage by making it uniform in quality. 
So basically we need cash and smart people. Neither of which we have very much of. I suspect. We want to save for that. Let's see, where is this mint they keep talking about? The counting house. Not for production efficiency. Is the mint one of these things? It's not. Aren't there supposed to be a mint here somewhere? That's a canal, that's a fort, that's a something else, a tenail. Workshop, camp, a barrack, a training field. Ah, I suppose it'll pop up eventually. Should probably just have waited a day. It's here now, right? No? Damn it. The Evangelic Union. Huh. The Holy Roman Empire had a fragile balance split between 10 major and nearly 400 minor states and principalities, as well as two opposing religions. The power of the emperor was quite limited beyond his direct domains, and the erratic and inconsistent behavior of some of them as Rudolf II increased frictions. I think we're Rudolf II probably in this case. In 1608 the Protestant city of Donavert refused Catholics the right to practice their cult and is banned from the empire. As a reaction, most German Protestant states formed the Evangelic Union to defend their freedom. Okay, so let's see. If we do this, a bunch of people who I assume are Protestants will like us. A bunch of other people who are not will not like us. Or we could throw away 30 prestige we don't have. Uh, I assume this will lead to other things. And you know, we're gonna join the ev Evangelic Union. Protect our Protestant brothers and our Protestant rights. That's right, we are Protestant. I was just checking. So I wasn't sure. Prepare to join! We are preparing. We also have a capital to improve and uh, a diplomat to get rid of. Oh, we have a Netherlands. Oh, hi. I think I think England likes us. Well, a lot of people dislike us over that whole evangelic malarkey. Uh. How the heck would it just, uh, just send him to to the Netherlands, smoke some pot, be happy. The glory of our capital has long been neglected. Oh no, what have we done? It's here, right? There's no... Yeah, Praha. Uh, there were a city name. Our capital. We now have an opportunity to improve the city and make it a beacon of cultural pride. We must take this chance. This may prove costly, but there is an alternative solution. Hmm. We can use the military as a workforce. Or we can use the money as a workforce. I think we're gonna send the military in to build houses, or buildings, or monuments, or whatever it is they're gonna do. Because currently we are stocked up. It's 3,000 manpower, so it's 10%. It'll eventually recover, I hope. And we shouldn't need it right now, I hope. So use the military as a workforce. Go for it. Now something we risk is that uh, our lovely friendly neighborhood coalition will go to war to stop us before we've managed to pacify them. Russia declared war on the Mongols in a holy war. The whatever the Mongols are versus the I assume Orthodox? Russia. Oh, we have a new successor, another Jiri. We are heavy in Jiris. He seems to be middling. Yes, the Orthodox Holy War 
against the the Mongol Sunnis. There's a proper holy war with all Christians and Muslims back in the good old days of the Crusades. The province of Würzburg now has the cultural we desire. Splendid. They are Czechians. And I need to check what we need here. We need to improve our defenses in Ostmark. It's gonna be hard. We're currently transforming them into proper people. They were Austrians. Our Austrians. And a general died. Good riddance or something. Austria declared war on Ansbach. Uh, military access, very well. And we can invest in the Gallius. Huh. Did we have any uh, diplomatic ideas? Claim fabrication. War cabinet. Well, maybe. But we, we are at 13, so you know, with, uh, we need to not fall horribly behind, despite our lack of coastal area. Uh, yeah, we've discovered the Gallius, it's some kind of thing that floats on water, we're not sure what to use them for. Uh, we got bridges over all our water. Galleys were light and small, and it was very difficult to mount cannons on them. The Galleys was a larger vessel capable of carrying a broadside of cannons, like a man of war. To compensate for this extra weight, Galleys would be equipped with an additional sail. We can now build new ships if we had anywhere to build old ships. We don't. I don't know, that might have been a bad idea. Oh, what do we have here? Ireland, you can come back. I'm just throwing diplomats randomly around me. Why were you in Algiers? Why do I care about Algiers? I'm gonna have to s send someone here though. They look pissed. They do too. There, and Hungary, oh great. We call them. That went fast. It's not good. Where do we send him now then? Somewhere useful. I don't think there is anywhere useful. This will not be useful, right? I'm just gonna check. And um, no. No, no, not at all. Now even if we got a plus hundred here somewhere, we'd still have what? That's a hundred. That's 210, 225, 235, 270, 80, 280, 315, 320 something. Negative. Even if we got another 100. So we're currently at a lot. So that makes no sense. How about France? Let's send him to France. I don't know if that'll do any good. We'll try. France looks scary. They're big and blue. They're generally bad when France is big and blue. It's not even, and they're even there. That's not good. Bremen declared war on Cologne. And no Cologne's been in our friendly neighborhood murder squad. They're not anymore, are they? Yes, they are. Good, Bremen. Kill Cologne for us. We can invest in military technology. Very good. We can get flintlock muskets. Let's get flintlock muskets. It'll increase cavalry shock and supply limit. Let's do it. More military tech. The matchlock firing mechanism. It's biggest weakness. Oh, okay. Flint. Oh, I get it. The matchlock firing mechanism's biggest weakness was the need to keep the match lit in order to fire the weapon. Although wheel lock was developed, it was too expensive to produce to enter into mass use. The development of flintlock created a more reliable weapon. There we go. Very nice. More shock for the cavalry. More supply limit for the supply. The next is carbine. Ooh, carbine. That's new cavalry. 
and stuff. Oh, that's no good. That was too quick. Too quick to be good. Let's send them to Minster. What are you thinking about? You, you freaking love us, Denmark. Love you too. Exceptional year! Excellent business environment combined with good harvests were once in a while a blessing for the nation's tax base, generating higher income for the realm. So... A tiny bit of money or a big bit of tax. We're gonna go for this. Definitely, I think. Maybe. Still don't get it. Where? There's supposed to be mints. Or am I completely misunderstanding something? Because I don't see mints in this list. Or this list. But we can build a manufactory, I think we might. Probably won't build a march. Not... Not yet. Embassy maybe, fine art academy... Possibly? I don't like this. Where's my mint? Town hall. College, cathedral. Is it anywhere in here? Stock exchange. Mint. There's the mint. It's a special building. Okay. I can only have special buildings of one category. Okay. This is category production. Do I have to get all of these before I can get these? I can't destroy anything until I've built the fifth level. Which might be that. Counting house, workshop, constable. Or does this count? We can't build it anywhere. I don't get it. You're annoying, go away. Bad thing. Well. Let's see, we got a farm estate. What can we do? That will give us 340 monies. Income, manpower, and trade value. How about textiles? 423, that's nice. Weapons? 343 and 383. Will these actually do anything else? I don't know. Let's build this one in somewhere. Hang on. Wool or cloth. Bohemia. Bohemia. Cloth. So you can have several? What? No, wait. Hang on. No, there. Ooh, okay. That's right. Yes. Yes. Perfect. We're building a textile manufacturing in Bohemia. We are starting the industrialization of Bohemia right now. Not really. We're trying. We're doing our darndest. I swear. Uh, oh, Karakunlu and Persia is over here. This could be fun. I wish we could see what's happening over there. But that wouldn't be right. You can do that, but it's, it's nasty. You need to do console commands and stuff. The very declared war on the Palatinate. Oh, whoa. Hi. Oh, it's a coalition war between Bavaria and the Palatinate. The nation of Denmark is requesting that I help them in the second Bavarian Palatinate punitive war against Bavaria, Augsburg, Württemberg, France, Gelre, Antilles, French Canada, 
Hungary and Mantua. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally Bavaria is allied with Hungary, France, Mantua and Utrecht. This what was bit this thing bit Denmark's ass right before we got our ass bitten. And no, I think we bit someone, so I don't know what the crap we did. But Denmark was in a war, lost all their soldiers, and then couldn't help us very much when we fought. And this was the war they were in. And that time I don't think we were called in. And we are called in now. I don't think I want to get into a two-front war between France and Hungary though. For some... Let go of my mouse. For some reason that does not feel right. Getting into a... Into the middle between these and these. Who else is scary? I think they're the scary ones. Denmark Denmark's got navies coming out of a zoo but that's their army that's all they have and I know we can't see it but I know there's at least one or two 40 stacks in France we can actually do it proper let's see Let's go this way. Here, France, 51,000. And Denmark, 36,000. How's Hungary? 19. France only has 18,000 manpower. Well, Denmark only has 12. A lot better off there. Hungarian manpower is good though. Uh. Navies, I suspect Denmark's probably well off. Denmark's the naval leader. Yeah, they're, they're killing in naval department. Technically the Ottomans have more ships, but the Danes have heavier ships and more open sea ships, no galleys. France... Yeah, France is gonna get smoked by Denmark there, but that doesn't matter, because France will just walk up here and stomp on them. And the AI is not gonna be smart in any way. It's gonna fight head on somewhere. And it's gonna be 35,000 Danes against 50,000 Frenchies. And then the French colonial something or others from somewhere will arrive with a couple of troops. And Hungary will go up. Ugh. I think if we did this, we might be able to, like, block Hungary and then just yes, keep our fingers crossed that Denmark might be able to deal with, with France. Another thing I'm afraid of... Is that it's just gonna be me and Denmark and the Palatinate and Utrecht? Well, that's gonna help. <sighs> you've been good to me, Denmark, but you this is beginning to drag me down. I can't, like, wh what is up with this? Why is. Why do you have so much nastiness? What's up with this? Coalition of Augsburg, Bavaria. That's not even a coalition. 
mention. It's all about Bavaria being freaking allied with France and Hungary. That's what kicks this bullshit off. And him being allied with Denmark. Oh uh, no. This would be a world war. It's gonna be a world war either way. Question is... Are we gonna be part of it? Oh... I'm having anxiety issues. Now you probably expect me to say Cliffhanger will decide next time, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to decide now. You know what? You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the deal. I don't want to make this decision myself, but I'm gonna have to. So, I have here a dice. I'm gonna roll it. And uh, evens means war, and odds means peace. I think that's how they do it, like in global politics normally. Uh, I'm sure they have a very big, nice gilded dice at, at the UN headquarters. So let's see. Odds, peace, even war. Odds, peace, even war. Sorry, Denmark. I rolled a five. That's very odd. You're on your own. We lost a bunch of prestige. You probably hate us now. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you hate us. You hate us a lot. Please don't go to war with us. Actually, do go to war with us, but not after you've recovered after this thing. So that's uh, we we've stabbed Denmark in the back. Uh, I'm sure that won't come back to bite us. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. Uh, he looks kind of pissed, doesn't he? 